Our cameras on one man. Fully add to his total of four goals from his last three. This is EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome from the English South Coast. This has always been an atmospheric venue, Bratton Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Portsmouth, and they face Fleetwood Town. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Let's dissect the Portsmouth starting 11. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're playing in a 4-4-2, with one of the strikers just dropping that little bit deeper. His role is to find space between the defensive lines, and he can only do that if his partner makes forward runs. And the contest begins... Lowry, Joe Morrell, Lowry now, failed to keep hold of it, he's got to score, brilliantly blocked, and a goal, 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Jaden Stockley on the offensive. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Will he find the net? In it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Patterson, Stockley, 
Foul there. Free kick awarded. Marlon Pack. Morel. Rafferty. Far from a good pass. And now passing it through. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Three goals without reply. Being egged on by the crowd and stuffing out the danger. Patterson might be able to get in behind the defence. Gives it a go. Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Who's going to get on the end of it? Still not clear. Just the challenge that was required. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it fizzled out. Patterson. Well, I'm hearing a goal has gone in in the Barnsley game. Alex, what can you tell us about that? A goal for Barnsley. The defender was caught in possession just before the goal. He won't want to be watching that back. It's now 1-0 with 25 minutes on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Lane. Pat with it. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. The supporters want to see him have a go. Is this the moment? Oh, a tremendous block. Crossed into the penalty area. And problem solved for now. Now, potential danger, but how well he did to cut that one out. Well, as you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, it might be on for them once more. So, a corner here. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Played over. Well, he clearly wants to complete his hat-trick, Stuart. Well, he's been fantastic up to now. You'd think it's going to come if he gets another opportunity.
to get there to intercept. A really sumptuous ball. Big opportunity. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Danger averted. Well, it could be on for him here. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And the first half is in the history books here at Fratton Park. And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? Determined defending. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Cheltenham Town. The keeper died. Alex, sorry to interject, but a big chance here. A smart stop here. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Who can he pick out? Not the best clearance. Connor Ogilvy. Lowry and tossing through but if truth be told he made it rather straightforward for the keeper well, he knows it that is a real waste of a great opportunity opportunity oh the angle was acute well I don't think anybody was expecting him to shoot from there that was really close Well, those stats tell you everything. They're opening up the opposition at will, and while we've seen some really poor defending, their attacking play has been excellent. Can he make it count? Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike.
Would Alex O'Neill please meet your wife at the ticket office? Thank you. Carlos Mendes Gomez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And into the last 30 minutes now. Joe Rafferty. There to take it away. Jaden Stockley. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Morel. Bernard. Tom Lowry. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Connor Ogilvy. Right developments to report in the Barnsley game. Alex Scott has the information. It's a second goal for Barnsley. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. They're now behind by one with 66 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Can he convert? A routine save. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Well, he'll certainly bring much needed experience to them. Let's just hope he's still got the legs to have a real impact. I think he'd do well. And the referee blows for a foul. to nothing in the end and they've given him too much space a really intense pressure applied can he open them up here he got in the way of that cross and making use of his physical strength to hang on to it Batty. Vela. Jaden Stockley. Did well to win the ball back. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Mendes Gomez. A danger here as he runs at them. Carlos Mendes Gomez. It's opening up for them. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Right, balls in the net in the Barnsley game. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Barnsley. They now lead 3-2 with 85 minutes played. It may just turn out to be the winner, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. And just over the bar, excellent effort it was. Cruz, not a great pass. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Cruz. Sloppy in possession from Portsmouth. 
And he's through here. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, that's a well-timed pass.
one man the focus of attention. Four goals last time out. Can he light up the stage again? Don't go anywhere. This is EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you. And I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from League One. It's Accrington Stanley, and they take on Portsmouth. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the lineup for the home side. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And this is the starting 11 for Portsmouth. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And this confrontation is underway. And he keeps going. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Morgan. Well, the situation has changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. Yeah, it's a goal for Port Vale. It's now 1-0 with only three minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Clean challenge. Lee. Determined defending. Blake, unable to keep the ball that time, always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart, what are you expecting to see from him? Well, the stats tell you everything, he's a top-class striker, even when he's having a quiet game, he can still pop up with a goal. Oh, surely! Well, it was caught nicely enough, but the fact of the matter is, it wasn't on target. Marlon Pack, Joe Morrell, Blake, Lane, a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in. Lane, good movement. Options in the middle. Real chance. Opportunity missed.
and Morgan. Lee. They might be able to get in now. Well, the supporters think it's on. Hamilton. Oh, this is looking promising. Big chance. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Well, they won't get too many chances, so they need to make the most of this. And now the delivery. And he's clear his lines. Timely intervention. And back with Blake. Ogilvy. Might be able to set up the chance. Could be. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Well read to ease the pressure. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, it petered out. Well, there you can see it, the visitors haven't been able to control possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. Nicely timed tackle. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Hamilton. Still behind, but the pressure mounting, and he's made headway. Not to be for him, he went for power over placement. Well, you're right, he decided to go for the power, which in the end he couldn't control. He'll be furious with himself, that's a big miss. Nearly at the break then, and the visitors have eked out a lead. Stuart, an opportune moment, I think, to get your assessment. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Oh, great attacking play. Shot attempted. Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, that save just about keeps them in this, but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Is this the moment? Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, capable of so much better, to be honest. Well, I expected more as well, Derek. I thought from that sort of position, he had every chance of scoring, but it's a poor effort. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here.
So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And showing excellent vision. And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, here we can see it again. It's a lovely ball in behind, perfectly timed, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Blake. Very quick thinking there. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play at his best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. And back with Blake. An effective challenge. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Lane. And back with Blake. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. And they're making a change. And over comes the corner. Not away completely. It did look on for them, but not to be. It's got to be! He's blocked it! And the penalty has been given here. Substitution for Portsmouth. Coming off the pitch. And they will make the change now. Coming onto the pitch. Number 23, Louis Thompson. This to put them in front once more. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Over it comes. Well, not the best clearance. Read it well. Clark. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Substitution time as is here. And options in the centre. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And back with Blake. 20 minutes to go in this one. And out for a throw in, just misfiring with the pass. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Clark. Lee. And that was a very fine read. 
Tom Lowry. Shot attempted. Well, tremendous block. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And he's through here. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Tom Lowry. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Breathing a sigh of relief, ball one. Now can they counter clinically? An incisive pass. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And we've entered the final five minutes. Opportunity in the wide area, but really sticking to the task defensively. McConville just lost his focus. Throw in here. Well, they've decided to make a change. Cruz. Blake, Bishop. And the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Committed challenge. And forward they go, chasing the game. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Late drama here. And no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. Well, let's take another look, and you have to say the defending is so poor, that's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Two -two. It's not lost on them. What a... And the referee brings this contest to an end. It certainly was pulsating. It had us on the edge of our seats. Stuart, your take. Well, it was excellent entertainment. We saw good quality football played at a high intensity and goals as well. The draw is a fair reflection of how the game was played.